At the student entrance on the west side of the building, new additions book in the existing 400's wing. A tall glass wall provides the union space with large amount of natural light. An outdoor entry plaza connects the new parent drop-off area and bus lane to the activities entrance on the right and the student entrance on the left. The student entrance will serve as the main building entrance from January 2023 through August 2024. The entry is marked by columns inspired by ship masts, a design element that continues into the union. Once guests step inside the entrance, they will be met by a greeter at the secure entry point. Upon entry, the finished portion of the union is directly ahead and the temporary main office space is just to the left. Standing just inside the student entrance, to the right is the entry to the renovated gym, which will open in the future. The open union area is the school's cafeteria and eating space. The far wall is the existing 100s and 200s wing, which will keep its windows to allow natural light to filter into these rooms. The connection to the new classroom addition from the existing building can be seen just beyond the new learning stairs, which provide an area to sit and work on and an area to travel to and from the second floor. Natural light streams in from overhead windows to fill the union, which offers a variety of furniture and seating options. Ceiling treatments that are reminiscent of sails build upon the water and light based theme design from throughout the building. On the right, serving lines with different colored entries highlight the variety of foods offered. Looking back towards the entry, the wood wall is the site of a future coffee shop which will open in the fall of 2024 to the left of the learning stairs. Heading down the hall from the student entrance is the area that will serve as the temporary main office space, consisting of administrative and health offices until the building is completed in the fall of 2024. A dedicated entrance is also provided for the Bear Care Clinic, allowing the service and community partnership to continue during the transition period before it also lands in its permanent spot in the final unified high school building. Additional administrative and student support staff members, such as counselors and assistant principals, will be located in the two main hub areas in the building in order to support students near where they are learning. Each of the building's learning studios will be shared by a team of teachers, with students entering the space and checking the display monitor at the entrance to see which of the spaces their class is using for that day. Continuing inside the studio, the variety found within the space supports the different needs of the students. Conference rooms will allow for small group work and individual student support sessions. And the central flex area offers shared access to technology. The many types of furniture and furniture configurations make the learning studios flexible and support agency and choice. Moving further back into the learning studio, various quiet and individual workspaces support more focused learning. Larger class spaces allow teachers and students to see the areas that best support their needs for each activity. Some spaces can be closed off or opened up to one another, supporting team teaching and a larger group work while still allowing for separation of sound when needed. Visibility among the spaces allows learning to happen beyond the boundaries of a typical classroom and walls. From the outdoor entry plaza, the activities entrance is marked with complementary ship mast inspired columns. The new weight room fitness center can be seen through the vertical windows that line the external wall proudly donning the large bear paw. This separate entrance allows specific access to this point of the building, including the new field house for evening and weekend events. The activities entrance lobby connects the new addition to the existing building. In the fall 2024, this lobby will connect to the renovated competition gym to the left. For the time being, the lobby provides access to the new weight room fitness center highlighted by glass on the right to the new auxiliary gym on the left and to the upper level walking track straight ahead. The staircase featuring the large bear paw leads to the field house floor, which is at the same level as the current gym floor. A four lane walking track is available on the upper level of the field house and provides views of the courts below. Spear graphics on the walls and acoustically absorbing panels in school colors bring a sense of bare pride and comfort to the space. Staircases located in the corners of the field house are framed by natural light and vibrant colors. The field house floor features five new full-size court surfaces, three wood courts and two with multi-purpose flooring. Each court can be separated off the curtains, providing flexibility for both PE and activities. A five-lane indoor track, complete with a long jump pit, will support practice and training for a variety of activities and will allow White Bear Lake Area High School to host indoor track meets. The new 1,500-seat stadium features a state-of-the-art track and artificial turf field, a main entry gate near the main building, and a combined concession stand, bathroom, and storage building. Additional site updates include various multi-purpose artificial turf fields for PE classes, 
athletics practices, and competitions. When all projects are finished in the fall of 2024, the outdoor spaces will support the needs of students and community with new tennis courts. A full set of field events with dedicated bleachers for fans, reconfiguration of Price Field, 